This is Radiology Spotters Mixed Pack Set 5. For other spotter videos, please check out the playlist on our YouTube channel, Radiology Doodles. The spotter will be shown for 30 seconds. Answer will be discussed after each spotter. The first case is extramedullary hematopoiesis. So we can see in this image there is widening of ribs and this occurs due to bone marrow failure that leads to erythropoiesis elsewhere. So it occurs in organs like liver, spleen, lymph nodes and starts occurring in all other flat bones. So this extramedullary hematopoiesis can also present as these following lesions. So it can also present as posterior mediastinal masses. It can present as epidural soft tissue and can also present as peritoneal nodules. This is a case of colon cutoff sign. Here it's already pointed out. So you can see this is the transverse colon shadow, and this sending colon shadow is not visible on the x ray. This is a CT topograph, which is equivalent to an x ray. There is non visualized colon after the splenic flexure. This is due to inflammation at splenic flexure that happens due to common causes like this. This is the same case here you can see features of acute pancreatitis. So these leaked pancreatic enzymes will cause inflammation in the colon hence inflammatory stricture will be seen. So here you can see that inflammation due to leaked pancreatic enzymes into the peripancreatic space that is causing the stricture. The three is a case of pile arterial malformation. We have CECT and T2 weighted MRI. Here we can see a nidus of vessels on T2 weighted MRI. So it's arteriovenous malformation having feeding arteries, nidus, and a draining vein. Most common location for this is supratentorial. So on CECT, it shows bag of worms appearance. This is a case of osteopoikilosis. So this is X-ray pelvis with bilateral hip AP. This is nothing but a sclerosing bony dysplasia where multiple bone islands are seen. Mainly in the metaphyseal region and epiphyseal region, they are parallel to the trabeculae. 5 to 10 millimeter lesions each 
most commonly affecting appendicular skeleton, rarely axial skeleton. This is the case of bullous lung disease. Here I am outlining the walls of those thin bullae which are seen on chest x-ray. So bullas are nothing but thin walled cystic lesions in the lung which are air filled and in x-ray they show positive of bronchovascular markings. So let me show CT of the same patient. This is a CT of the same patient. Here you can clearly see the bullae. This is a case of psoriatic arthritis. These are hand x-rays, AP view. So psoriatic arthritis is a erosive arthritis which also shows proliferative changes along the erosive changes. Most commonly affecting small joints of hand more commonly than the feet. They present with symmetrical polyarthritis. So here you can see this classic pencil in cup appearance or pencil in cup deformity of distal phalanx and in this joint you can see marginal erosions which are having fuzzy margins. So these are the classical features of psoriatic arthritis. This is one emergency and a fatal condition that is Ogilev syndrome. This is X-ray abdomen erect which is a cut image and this is nothing but colonic pseudo obstruction. Here you can see the transverse colon is dilated or any large bubble will be dilated and uh, there will be no transition point seen even on CT or barium studies or even clinically. Risk factors for such is trauma, burns and diabetes, electrolyte disturbances, etc. This can lead to perforation, so it's an emergency condition. This was an easy x-ray. Here you can see multiple bunch of grapes like appearance of dilated bronchi. Nothing but cystic bronchiectasis or cystic changes in the bronchi. Few of them as you can see here show air fluid levels. That means there is secondary infection in the already dilated and ectatic bronchi seen. This was x-ray of a patient with SLE. These are nothing but multiple bone infarct usually seen in metaphyseal region. They are irregular 
and well defined marginated sclerotic borders are there multiple lesions will be seen and they are bilaterally symmetrical risk factors are alcohol gaucher's disease sickle cell anemia and sle or any type of granulomatous diseases steroid abuse also can present this Lastly, we have cholidocal cyst. This is congenital cystic dilatation of biliary G. We use Todani classification for it. You can read up. And here you can see pancreatic duct and CBD both are dilated with uh, and die in the duodenum. And here you can see the dilated uh, biliary tree at ampulla. So this is cholidocal seal that comes to type 3 of Todani classification. Like, share and subscribe our videos on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you.